welcome back to Lovely Lover Designs. These are the Teen Titans Go characters. And I finally have all of the characters made. Cyborg is my newest tutorial and Robin. I also have three old tutorials for Beast Boy and Raven and Starfire. So in this tutorial we're going to make Robin and he has spiky hair. And if you don't want spiky hair you don't have to put the spikes. He has a really cool mask and a really awesome cape and utility belt and he's just like really really blinged out cool Robin. So this is a tutorial for Robin and if you want to make any of the others the descript in the description box are their tutorials. So thanks and we'll get started with Robin. Okay so this is our Robin and you will need green, skin tone, yellow, red, black, and some white for the eyes and gray for the bottom. So he has a utility belt and he also has a shorter cape than um, Raven. So it goes down to like mid knee. So I'm going to make the cape at the, um, at the end. And if you don't want spiky hair, you don't have to add the spiky hair at the end too. So um, let's get started. And this is Robin. You'll need a staggered position loom arrow facing down and we're going to start with the black hair first. So double black on the top, then another double black on the right side. So these are all doubles. And then another black on the left and then another one on the right. So now we're going into skin tone, and once again, doubles again. I'm going to put that in the middle, and we're going to make his face three stitches long. So this is two, and three. So now the side of the face. And then the chin area. Same with the left. If I'm going too slow, you can always um, stop and catch up. So now the middle is going to be a black neck. So it's going to be a triple black because it's connected to the cape. triple black. Now we're going into the red. I don't have regular red so I'm using like a jelly red so but it still will look cool. So red on the left, red on the right and these are doubles and yellow in the middle. Double yellow in the middle. So now we need a double red in the middle and another red and now double green and another green. Okay, so now the right side we're going to need red again. Then another red. Okay, another red. And then we're going to make more red on the left. Three more stitches on the left. So we even. It's one, two, and three. Okay, so now the leg part is green, so double green. So we're going to keep it like that. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're going to be keeping the bands like this and we're going to add the legs. You will need a double gray. So we're going to be making the boot first and then we're going to um, make the leg. So double gray wrapped on the hook two times. So it goes around. And then we're going to do a double of the black. Then another double black. Okay, and then a double of the green. Another double green. And then one more, so that's three green. Okay, so it looks like this. And then we're going to place it right here. Well, first I'm going to just put a simple um, structural band first, just to make it a little bit better, because it needs to be um, cinched in a little bit. So it's going to be a single green and make it a triangle. So it just looks like that. Now put the leg in, and then we're going to make another leg, double, and wrapped around, then your double black, and then another black. and the triple of the green. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, we're gonna place it right here. Okay, so it looks like that. And now let's work on the arms. Okay, so the arms are going to be simple too. It's going to be a single one, two, three of the green, then a double, and I'm going to make more. I actually have two stitches of green on this one. I'm going to make it um, a longer. Um, regular skin tone color and then I'm going to wrap another band on top but if you want a longer glove do this stitch in green just like this one but if you want a longer skin tone arm then you can do skin tone like I'm doing right now so um, I'm going to do a double of the skin tone it's going to be one two, and three. Okay, so it's a little bit longer. Well, you know, more um, skin tone than a longer glove. And then I'm going to do a triple of the green for the shirt. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, I'm going to repeat on the right side, single, one, two, three, then a double, then skin tone, three skin tones, And then triple of the green. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, turn it. And now the
the structural bands and we're going to make single red because it's the main body color. Single red, single red, and single red. Okay, I'm going to cinch the waist a little bit tighter. So I'm going to take this little structural band off. I'm going to twist it and then bring it back on that pin and then bring that leg through. This is just going to make the waist like a little bit tighter. So it's a single twist. And then I'm going to make this one a single twist also just to make it a little bit tighter at the bottom because he's skinny. So these two are single twists. These two are regular. Okay, so now he has white eyes. So I'm going to take two white bands or two white beads. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to take a skin tone slide the eyes on the, the single band and I'm going to place it right here and here separate the eyes bring it up and now we're going to make the ears and it's just going to be a single twist upon itself and place it here and then we're going to make another ear, single twist, place it here. Okay, so I'm going to take another single of the skin tone just to tie the bottom together. And I'm going to single twist it too. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, so this is the Robin, and this is what he looks like. Make sure yours looks like this. Once again, we're going to add the accessories and everything at the end. So, we're going to first loom the right side, pull this leg back, and we're grabbing the gray, uh, green. Grabbed one of the bands. And here's the other one, then red, another red, and now this part, the diagonal red, okay, now the left side. And the diagonal red. And now the middle. So this one just goes straight up. And now the yellow. And now the triple black. Okay, so now we're at the head area and we're grabbing the left skin tone. Now the right and the middle. I'm going to loom straight forward, and now the left, black, and black. And now the left, so this right, left. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so now you need a double black to tie it off. Okay, so this is what he looks like. Make sure yours looks like this. And you can slowly take it off. Okay, now the head. your finger in the back, pull him forward, make sure the eyes come out. He has plain hair right now. Bring out the ears, the body. You can see the pants look awesome. The arms look good. Bring the band down so his arms are facing down. So you just do a little tug up. And this is what he looks like without the accessories. And then we're going to um, add some accessories now. So we're going to add some more um, layers to the boot. And just a double black. And we're going to wrap it around two times. Just to make it a little bit higher and more filled out. And then we're going to do another double black on the other side. Wrap it around twice. So now it's a really awesome looking boot. And we're going to do the same thing with the gloves. Double green. Wrap it around twice. And I'm going to just place it right here. And once again, if you want a longer glove, you can put more and bring it up. So I'm going to just do the double green for this one. Okay. So now he has a little robin symbol right in the middle over here. And it's yellow. So I'm going to place a yellow band, wrap it around four times. Then take another yellow. And make a slip knot. So now it's like a really cool ball. And then it's on the left side, it's left lapel. Stick the hook right through. And now he has like the little robin sign. So you can tuck this band and hide it over here, or you can take a clip and clip it. Okay, so now his utility belt. You're going to need a single wrapped four times around. Another single wrapped four times around. Another single wrapped four times around. So now you're going to take two singles, bring it together, and you're going to make a knot, basically like that, so you can tie two together, okay? Then you're going to take your hook and slide the little bands that we just made, there's three, onto the belt. Okay, and then you need a clip to clip it on the back. Okay, so I got a C clip, and I'm just going to clip the ends together. So 
So now it looks like a bell. And then we'll put it around his waist. And then you can separate uh, the little ball areas for the utilities. So one in the middle and two on the sides. Looks like that. And now we can make the mask. And it's going to be a double black. Make sure they're around the same size. And you're going to wrap it around twice, just like that. Another twice. Take a single black. String the two doubles there. Make sure that they're all around the same circle size because that's going to be the mask for the eyes and then you're going to make a slip knot just like that. And make sure they're all around the same size. Pull taut. And then you have two on one side and two on the other. So it looks like that. Then you're going to Basically, we're going to place this through the middle of his face so it's secure. But um, first we're going to take two more blacks, two more single blacks. Right here, parallel, we're going to make another slip knot to go around his face. So it looks like this. And we're going to make another slip knot. So now it looks like this, and we're going to grab the other side and make another slip knot. This is going to go around the sides. Okay, so we have two on each side and one in the middle. So right now I'm going to go right between his eyes where I want to place the mask. Just like that. Pull that middle band through. There you go. So it's right in the middle. Now I have the side of the mask going around his head. So it looks like that. Now here's the back. I'm going to take all three bands and put a clip so it stays secure. Okay, so you have a clip in the back and the mask on top. Okay, so if you want to keep his hair like this, like I'll show you, you can either Tuck this in in the back and you can keep his hair like that or we can make little spikes. So I'm going to make little spikes because he has spiky hair inside the show. You can add as much, as many spikes as you want. So I'm just going to grab like a band from the inside. Just a single band, one of the blacks. I'm going to take one of these and I'm just going to make a slip knot. And then that's going to come out. I'm going to take another single back here. And then you're going to cut the bands too to the desired length that you want his spikes. Okay, so that's basically four right there. I can, I'm going to add a little bit more. And you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. And one more right here. Okay, 
So now you can take your scissor, which I have right here, and you can just give them a little trim. Be careful of your fingers. And you can trim it however long or short you want them. So I think that looks cool like that. And you can always add more too. Okay, so that's my little haircut that I gave him. So you can add more too if you want. So that's this hair. And now we're gonna make the cape and then we're all done. Cape is pretty simple. We're gonna bring out the loom again, okay? So now we're gonna make the cape and I'm gonna take the middle compartment out of the loom. And I'm just gonna make it straight. It's a little bit easier to work with the cape. So it's straight on the top, arrow facing down. Okay, so these are singles, single yellow. And in the show, his cape is yellow in the front and black in the back. So if you wanna do all black, you can do that too. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're gonna do another one of eight going down. Once again, if I'm going too fast, you can always um, stop it and pause. Same with the right side. Okay, capping band, single, three times around. Same here. And same here. See? Now, structural bands, pretty simple. We're just going right across singles. Single, single. So it looks like this. Make sure yours looks like that. And we're just gonna loom forward. Now the middle, okay, now left. Okay, now you need a double black, and you're gonna take this off the loom. Okay, this is half of the cape. And what you wanna do, string that double black on there, and you 
can keep this on the side. Keep it to the left, and then we're going to repeat and make another yellow section to make the other half. So eight again, going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we'll do the middle part. Now the right side. Okay, capping band three times. So now, these structural bands, we're going to first do the singles all, over, all through the three pins going up. Okay, so I'm going to take a clip. I'm just going to clip the black bands to make it more secure so I don't lose them. Okay, so now this has the same structural bands, so we're going to connect it. So here's the first one. Make sure you have an even number of the bands. because you don't want like a lopsided cape, you want it even. And this is the last one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands. So there should be seven here. Connect them all together. And I'm going to start looming on the left side first. And you want to grab the bottom most band. So now the middle. Lost that guy. And we'll just bring it back up. Now the left. Okay, so that's what it looks should look like, just like that. And I'm going to take this one off the loom. Okay, it's 
all connected. Now I'm going to take my black band off just like that and I'm going to slide it through the yellow and I'm going to bring the black band back on the hook take it take the clip off so now it looks like that so now I'm going to take another black band and I'm going to camouflage the hook I mean this um clip. You can also color a magic marker if you want, or you can put bands. So I'm going to make it look like this. So take a single black band, one, wrapped around a couple times, two, three, four, and five. I think five is enough. And that will be in the middle. And now we're going to take the cape and clip them together. So got one side. And now here's the other side. I'm going to clip it. Okay, and here's the front with the extra band in the front. And then I'm just going to put it over his head. And that's his cape. So it came out really cool. And here's the cape in the back. Stretch it out. Make sure everything's even. So I think that came out really, really cool. And it goes to like the mid knee area. And if you think this is too tight, you can always add more bands, you know, and clip it that way too. So if it's too tight for you, you can um, make it bigger. And then we'll bring up his mask. And this is my Robin. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think it came out really cool. And please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. And um, more Teen Titans on the bottom of the description box if you're going to make more. Okay, thanks. Bye.